Here, smell it. I'm just kidding, you can't smell it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I got a video of a fragrance that's been kind of getting hyped a little bit. Not too much. It's been out for a while, but I haven't really tried it. So when I went to buy this fragrance in the shelf, there was only two bottles left and the tester was done. Like there was nothing in it. So I was trying to smell it and I couldn't really, or scent of it. So I just blind bought it. And going off of Fragantica and looking at the notes and the main accords, I thought it was a safe buy. So three questions that I'm gonna try to answer today. One, is the hype worth it? So is it real? The hype, is it real? Two, is it worth the price? And I got this for really cheap, I think, because the price that was on the retail store um, it was price match to what was on um, Amazon at that time and then three um, Is it a safe blind buy? So if you really haven't tried this fragrance and you really want to Purchase it online because you don't have the means to try it then I would answer that for you so as of all the videos I do my job or what I try to do is to see if the hype is real. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned, you know, stay till the end of the video. So here, let me show you the fragrance itself. It's still sealed. It's YSL myself. And they only had the 2.0 um, oh, uh, ounces or the, what is this, 30 or 60 mil. So they didn't have the 3.4 sealed. Um, and I've heard that these bottles that are, uh, refillable they tend to leak so hopefully that is not the case here so this retailed at the store for 105 and i managed to get it for 80 dollars yes 80 dollars so if you pay attention on amazon sometimes amazon um, reduces the price on fragrances and it kind of like in the same day i've seen it go up and down up and down so if you know of a place that does price match and you see it on Amazon, they will price match it for you. So, bottle itself, I don't know if anybody cares what the packaging looks like, but here it is. Um, this says something inside, it says reduce art impact. Sure, like, I don't know how many people are actually gonna refill the bottle. Um, here it is, it looks really nice. Well, that looks cool. The, so the letters are matte, but the bottle itself is um, shiny. All right. It is not leaking, so I'd smell it just to see if there's any leakage, but there isn't. All right. And this is my tester that I made myself. No pun intended. All right. So. All right. So. It does smell kind of like the same that I so that bottle that I was telling you about the tester. It only had a little bit left or none, and you could smell it from you put your nose to the top. So, opening smells less citrusy but more floral. I see. I could see why there's a hype on this thing. It smells really good. Um, Here, smell it. I'm just kidding, you can't smell it. Um, can I smell the patchouli? No, really. Maybe a little bit. There's a little bit of woody there, yes, and sweetness. But you can definitely smell the, the citrus and the white florals. So, it smells really good. Holy crap. Um, it's something that you, you wanna keep smelling. So I don't know, so a bunch of reviews online are saying that it's generic. And I don't think it's generic at all. So they were they were kind of uh, comparing it to Ralph. So no, if you know Ralph, Ralph's Club Parfum, uh, or much mostly any Ralph except the Elixir, I think they're basically a jack of all trades. So you can use this year round, no problem, and they smell good. I don't know why there's a lot of hate to Ralph's Club. Wow, this smells really good. Uh, so if you look at my, my collection here, there's a lot of 
shiaka in here, but like low end floral. And there is Prada uh, loam in there. I'll say like five per five percent of sculpture. Yep, I'd say like five percent. Not too much in there. Wow. Look. All right. So, is it worth it? Absolutely. Is it a safe blind buy? Yes. Is it worth a hundred and five dollars? Maybe. So why do I say maybe? If you have 105 bucks burning a hole in your pocket, then go for it. Um, I haven't really seen anything clone wise that could probably go or be the same as this for a cheaper price. So if you're, if you really like this, when you try it and you like it and you're willing to spend the money, See if you can get it for 80 bucks. I think 80 bucks is a safe buy for a 2.0. Now, if you find a higher concentrate, not concentration, but quantity like a 3.4 and you're seeing, seeing it at $100, I think it's worth it. Yes, this is good. I could see the hype. So I'm not going to hype you and be like, oh my God, this is so good. It is good. It is worth 80 bucks for the 2.0. This is all the parfum. I heard the Parfum version is coming out, so if you really want to wait for that Parfum version to come out, um, then I would say wait and see if it's good. Now, let's go over a couple things, and I like to do this. So, I'm going over uh, Fragantica, and it says, it's it's an all-year fragrance, but it doesn't say, it, say that, it says that for winter is no good, like the, the, the rating is low on, on the winter section, so it seems like a lot of people like it. I could see why. Um, price range from in Yoma shop from 89 to 139. I guess that 139 is for the uh, 3.4 ounce. I think this, I think 2.0, it's kind of like, you know, the sweet spot. Cause I don't know how many people are gonna, or if you're building a collection, why, why would you go for the 3.4 when you can just get this? Cause you're using other fragrances, right? So for me, I think 2.0 works. And price, price wise, yes, it works. Um, it is, uh, is it unisex? I don't think so, but it does, it does smell kind of, if a female wore this, I wouldn't say, wow, you smell like a dude. But if a dude wore it, I wouldn't say, wow, you smell like a girl. It does remind me of a, of a fragrance from like the early 2000s. I don't remember, I don't remember the name. Uh, it says that it has uh, bergamot, tanushian, uh, orange blossom, and patchouli and brock fix. Um, let's go over the hype or the trend is leaning high, yes. Um, so the longevity, I'm going to have to, again, give this a try for a week and see how it goes. Silage, it says that it's moderate. I don't think if you buy this that you want, that you're looking for a fragrance that is screaming like, Hey, this is me. You're probably looking for something, you know, like cool and smooth, you know, floral. Um, unisex, it leans more male. That's what they say here. I can see that. And then price, it says okay. I think a lot, there's more overpriced than good value, and I think that's what I'm what I'm saying. Yeah, um, 2.4 or 2.0 should be $80. Um, very nice but a bit overpriced, like I'm saying. Those are some of the uh, comments that are here. And then it says not very original. I could see that because it's not, it's not unique, but it smells good. Somebody says that it hated with a passion. I don't know. Uh -oh. Yeah, so go ahead and look at Fergantica and look at the comments. I don't see anything other than those two people that said that they hated with a passion. Um, let me see how, um, yeah, let's see. That's it, there's nothing more here. Recommend it, absolutely. You know I'm not gonna give you any BS. It smells really good, so save blind buy, absolutely. If, especially if you're into the floral fragrances. If you're not into floral, 
I would just try it. But I don't think you're gonna regret it regardless because it smells really good. Um, really nice fragrance, really nice, really good, really good. I think it was a good buy. So I'm not mad. I think it was, it was a good, I, I think it, if you're really looking for this and you're trying to get it and you don't know if you should get it, pull the trigger and get it. All right. Um, other than that, if you guys have any comments, any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. I'm going to leave um, a link um, where you could buy this down below. If you see an Amazon link, that is my Amazon Associates link. So if you want to hook a brother up, use, use that link. Um, other than that, again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.